If you guys are using one of these instead of one of these, you may be hurting yourself and your family. You want to use this, and I'm going to show you how to. I cannot even believe that I went to Lowe's and this is what I got. Before we start this whole entire video about this lamp, I want to talk to you about something that is very important, and that is miswiring a receptacle. Now, I have a video coming out all about miswiring receptacles that you don't want to miss, so make sure you watch out for that. It's very important that you do not put the hot on the neutral and the neutral on the hot. What I'm gonna show you guys, now this is a lamp that I have not fixed. Now I did fix one previously and I thought, you know what, it'd be a good video because not a lot of people understand how a lamp is wired and why it's wired the way it is. So what I'm gonna do is I took one of these, this is a lamp holder, which is literally this right here. These two are exactly the same thing now, kind of. Obviously this one has rubber coating around it and this has a piece of plastic. But let me show you what it looks like if you were to take the cross section of it out. Now that's what it looks like. It is extremely important for you guys to understand what is going on here because if you miswire this, you potentially could be shocked pretty easy. Now, obviously it'd be a little harder with this kind because it has rubber on it. But what if you had a lamp and this was cracked, all right? What I'm trying to say is this wire right here, which is your neutral, all right, on the, now it's not gonna look like this inside this lamp. We're going I'm just showing you basically what it would look like if you were to crack this lamp open and you can see the shell, which that's exactly what you would see. The little shell is what we call it right there. The neutral is hooked to right here, which is all of this metal around here. All this metal is your neutral. The only thing that's hot is right inside this. There's a little prong. Can you see the little, the little gold piece inside there? If you were to put the hot on the neutral, you potentially would energize this whole entire shell. So when you look down in there, all that aluminum color would be hot. And the only thing that would have a neutral on it would be right in the middle. And a bulb, if you look at it, no matter what kind of bulb it is, the only thing that gets hot on this bulb is right in the middle. You see that lonely old stab right there? Right there in the middle. That's the only thing that gets hot. Your neutral is all around through here. So if you leave your bulb kind of, if you unscrew it because your on and off doesn't work or whatever, and you go to, let's just say, grab your lamp right here, well, you're gonna grab it and you potentially could be shocked. And that's gonna be a big trouble for you. So we're gonna learn today exactly how to wire this thing correctly. And I wanna talk to you about really, really something important. I cannot even believe that I went to Lowe's and this is what I got. Now you saw this right at the beginning of the video, started out. This is a Hubble, of all, residential straight plug cord reactor is what it says. Now, this is not polarized. I'm gonna show you what I mean by that here very shortly. When you go to put this on, it doesn't matter if you put the hot on this side. Let me just go ahead and open it. It doesn't matter if you put the hot on this side or on this side, it doesn't matter because they're exactly the same width. That tells me that this is a real piece of junk. I don't care if it was $10, it's a piece of junk. Because if you're plugging a lamp in, like I just mentioned, and it's not polarized, it's not neutral specific. Polarized is the, basically one side is bigger than the other. Polarity, polarized. So this one is not. So if you go to plug this in a plug, just like this, and let's say this is the hot right here, and this is your neutral, obviously, well now, you got the hot going straight on through here and you're gonna be in some trouble. Or somebody's gonna be in some trouble, your kid, your grandma or whatever. So it's very important to spend a little bit more money and get the polarized plugs, it just makes sense. What I did is I went, the only place I could find was Ace Hardware and Amazon and Ace Hardware was out so I got this from Amazon, I'll leave the link down below. Polarized, one side is bigger than the other. We're gonna talk a little bit about both of these and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking All right, about. If we look at these two together, now obviously this one's bigger and they have different ones of these, but you wanna make sure that if you're replacing a two prong extension cord, something like this, or any other extension cord that's only two prong, that you get a polarized one. Because as you see, this blade is bigger than that blade. Now you probably won't be able to really, really, really see super good in this video how the difference is, but I'm gonna show you on this plug right here. So, polarized, it will not fit. There's the neutral, it will not fit in this plug. You have to flip it over and put it in the right way. Now, your neutral, right, 
will be flowing out into your lamp, which will be on this shell right here, not in the middle, because you don't want that to happen. All right, now the next question is, let's say you got this cord right here. How do you know, just by looking at it, what the neutral is? Because what if this cord was cut off? Now this one is polarized, you see, but what if it was cut off, all right? There's a very specific, on all these cords are exactly the same, and I'm going to tell you exactly what to look for. So if none of the, if neither side was here, or you wanted to make another cord, and you just had a piece of cord with just like this, with nothing on the end of it, if you look at this cord and you and you don't know, if you look right here, real close, there are ridges on this. Now you probably won't be able to see too good in the camera, but there's ridges on this part of the wire and on the other side. It's smooth. So the smooth side is always your hot. The rib side is always your neutral, all right? I mean, you, I don't know if you can see it or not, but if you look at any cord, you can pause this video real quick, go get your cord, and you can look yourself and see. The same goes for this lamp. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut this lamp apart and we're gonna show you. But what if you didn't know? So let's say that you get this lamp, all right? and you're not sure. Well, let's go ahead and cut it off and talk about this. Now this lamp is a piece of junk, so we're gonna assume that we're throwing it away and we are, we're gonna get our gloves on. Now I've got a bunch of stuff here, so don't mind all the stuff, but links will be down below for all these awesome tools that I'm going to show you, and especially this little knife right here. And you want cut proof gloves because you don't wanna get cut. So we're gonna cut this out and I'm gonna show you. All right, now what if we don't know what the neutral is. Now, if you remember, I just told you guys that the aluminum color on this, on these two, doesn't matter which one you got, there's aluminum inside. This is what it looks like on the inside, and this will look like on the inside with it not cut. So what if you don't know? Let's say, you, let's say your grandma slammed this in the door and it cut the plug off. You, you really just don't know how to wire it, all right? I'm gonna show you an easy way with a meter to figure it out. Now, remember what I told you, the ribbed, always goes to the neutral. So we know that the neutral is all of this right here, all of this aluminum colored on this shell. All right, same goes for this. We can always ohm it out. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. All right, we're gonna get this meter right here and we're gonna put it on continuity. I like the one that beeps. So it's this symbol right here, the tip of my knife. It's that symbol right there. It looks like a bunch of sound waves right there at the tip of my knife. All right, and we want to definitely check our meter before we do anything. We want to make sure that the continuity is working. Listen, when we hear that, we know that these leads are working. All right, so let's strip our wires out. Let's put our knife away first so we don't get cut. Let's strip our wires out. All right, we know that this is probably a 16 gauge. And it is, and we'll strip this wire out. All right, now, we know that this is the rib part, so we're gonna definitely just double check and we're gonna make sure that that rib does go in here to this neutral. We'll unscrew this and we'll show you that this right here is the shell, the same kind of shell that is in this light, which is in any kind of light that has one of these holders. All right, so let's do this. All right, let's put our meter. It doesn't matter if it's the black or the red. We'll take the red and we'll put it to this one. We'll see if it beeps through, right? So what I'm doing is I'm holding this and I'm putting my lead right on there and just kind of pinching it on there. All right, it doesn't read through. All right, let's change it out. Let's do the other side. All right, put it here. All right, that's perfect. Now, even if the light, this switch here was off, it would still read through. The neutral always goes through because it's just going right here to the lampshade. The only thing that would not potentially beep through is right in the middle. You would put it, let's make sure I get your frame here. We'll hold it on here. All right, and we'll try the other one. All right, now we'll turn it off. We'll see if it beeps through, and it doesn't. So we know that the switch works. So we know now that on this lamp right here, that this side is your neutral. Now, let's make the plug up together. Take our plug loose. All right, we don't want to lose anything, so let's clear our area. 
as best as we can. So when you open it up, as you see, you have a brass colored one, which is always your hot, and your neutral, which is always your silver. Same goes for that on a receptacle. Hot is brass, neutral is your silver. Okay, now, if you read the directions here, which we should always do, it tells you that we need to strip three quarters of an inch off of our plug. So let's see if we did that, all right? We, we, it's pretty close, so I'm gonna say that's pretty close. And it says, ribbed conductor to silver screw, non-ribbed to brass screw. Round cord, white conductor, silver screw, black conductor to brass screw, all right? So we know that that's right. We have to loop the wires clockwise, three quarters, turn around the screw and tighten to 10 to 12 pounds. Now I'm gonna cut them just a little bit more because I feel like that's pretty close to three quarter, but I wanna make sure. So we'll cut them, all right? We'll make sure they're about the same length and they are not, so we'll cut just a little bit more off here. And these strippers, guys, are really nice. They cut screws also right here, and I'm gonna do a video of this, so be on the watch out for this. All right, we will twist our wires here. All right, now we'll loop them. All we're gonna do is put a little, a little loop in them. And another little loop. All right, and we're gonna do the neutral first, because what I always tell you guys, ground neutral hot, correct? All right, well, let's do it. All right, so we know that the rib side is the neutral. So we will put it around so it goes clockwise. Now, if you don't know how to put wires on a screw terminal, definitely check my video out. And this, just take your time, guys. You see, I am a professional, but I still take my time because I want to make sure that it is good. And we'll lay it on the ground here, on the table, rather. And we'll just tighten it down real easy. And we'll finish it right there. And like that, it's in there. And that's kind of what you want right there. You'll have strain relief right up in here, which you'll see here in just a second. All right, same thing goes with this. We will put it so it is clockwise. And we'll put it behind the screw. I wish this more, was more like a clamshell. I think it would be just a little bit better, but I didn't make this. And this is about the best option that you got, honestly. Hard to believe, isn't it? All right. All right, we'll tighten her down. And we're tightening her there. And what we'll do is we'll lay these perfectly nice. Just like that. And we'll start to tighten them up. They have little channels. I thought it was in the channels when I started doing it, but it was not. But it is now, guys. Hey, we're all learning here together. That's what this channel's about, guys. All right, there we go. All right, and we'll squeeze it. We'll put our screw back in, and it goes one way. And they do make these in different colors on that link that I have down in the description. So keep that in mind. And there, we are done, and it is perfect. Now we'll plug it in, and we'll see, we'll see if it works, because we want to make sure, right? But before we do that, let's double check, because it, you know, it, it doesn't hurt to double check. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our meter once again, the continuity all right make sure our meter works like we did last time now we know that this plug is polarized so this this side is the biggest so if we go to right here to here it should be through we'll put the lead right into the hole of the polarized plug and we'll all right and just for giggles what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick it while it's on the neutral polarized we're gonna make sure it ain't hot and it's not see I'm on the brass but if I touch the outside it definitely beeps through. All right, it's continuity. We'll make sure on the hot, we'll flip it over. We'll flip this over and we'll put it on the non-polarized side. We'll make sure, all right, we know that no wires are touching. All right, the switch is off, switch is on, and it works. All right, perfect. Now, let's give the old one, two, plug it in and see what happens. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our polarized plug we just put on, we're gonna put it into the receptacle part of this extension cord. We're going to see if it's hot. All right, let's do it. It only goes one way, right? Let's put it this way and then going because it's polarized. All right, let's see what happens. We know everything is good and clear. 
We're going to put the bulb in. And we have power, guys. We know that everything is wired up correctly. We know that if we touch this, we're not going to get shocked because obvious reasons, right? Because we made sure that the neutral was on the polarized part of the plug. And that's all you do. And you are safe and ready to go. Put our lamp back together. Plug our light in. And that's it. Now just keep in mind guys, you can wire any receptacle wrong and then you would obviously have your lamps that you plug into your walls wrong and you'd be potentially be in a lot of trouble. If you guys want to watch a video on how to fix a miswired receptacle, you can watch that next as soon as this video is over with. I'll be a link in a card where you can just click right on and you can watch and you can fix it super easy. And I highly recommend that video next. If you guys are having problems in your house, definitely check out that video. If my content has given you guys any value, please smash that thumbs up, guys. It really does help the channel and get this word out. And if you're not subscribed now is a good opportunity. Go ahead and do it so you don't miss any further upload that I have. All links to anything I've been using will be down below in the description. If you want to see what happens next, make sure you like and subscribe. God bless, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Have a great day.